Our report, Not In This Together, explores the growing divide caused by lockdowns between two Australias. One Australia is in the public sector, tends to have higher income and uh, older Australians, while the other Australia is concentrated in the private sector among lower income earners and younger Australians. One of the key findings is the divide in lockdowns between the private sector and the public sector. While there were massive job losses in the private sector and wage cuts, the public sector experienced wage growth and actually employment growth throughout the lockdowns. A second key finding, which we had already discussed before in previous RPA research, was that younger people were the hardest hit. So younger people saw the heaviest job losses and it also took, it took younger people the longest to regain their jobs uh, as economies opened up. The third finding and the key finding for this report is the divide between low income Australians and high income Australians. This is a finding that no one else has looked at. This is something no one else has explored and we're covering it in this research. So we found that almost all of the job losses are concentrated in the lowest income earners. When you look at where the job losses were coming from, one of the key things we found is that it was from the bottom 20% had massive job losses, while those in the top 20% of earnings actually experienced job gains. So this was not a recession of job losses experienced across Australia. It was concentrated amongst lower income earners, while a lot of people in the higher income bracket are not the ones who are experiencing the economic hardship throughout lockdowns. The political class who are enacting these lockdowns are disconnected from the Australia that is suffering throughout lockdowns. We need the political class to take the interests of those who are younger Australians who are not established in the workplace, lower income workers and those in the private sector when they enact these policies that are actually wreaking economic destruction on a large part of the Australian population. To support more research on the economic impact of lockdowns, become a member of the IPA today.